The other day I did a community post discussing the supreme mathematics of dating and relationships. And the point of the community post was to show how women affect the quality of life of a man. Women modify the lives of men. Take for example, a man gets the wrong woman. Everybody know you get the wrong woman, your life can be living hell. These women are dangerous. They can be your greatest blessing or your worst nightmare because she is going to have an effect on your life. You know what? I'm going to give you a good example of females, the female nature. Think of electricity. Electricity is everywhere at all times. It's omnipresent. It's everywhere at all times. But the power of electricity cannot be realized until it is conducted. Women are the same way. They are, the power that they possess is always in them, but they need to have it conducted. And the man is that conductor. She is power that needs to be manifested. And she manifests her power through men. This is why they say behind every good man is a good woman. That's why they say that. So a man don't really need a woman, but that woman can only manifest her power through a man. And this is the mistake that the I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D, -E -E this, this is the mistake that that community makes with this independence nonsense. A woman is not designed to stand alone. Uh -uh. Whatever she is by herself, she will be a hundred times more with the man. If she is successful in her own right and she's single, she can get a man that doesn't work and he's going to, and her life is going to increase tenfold. He don't have to have a job. She will still be better off with a dude with no job than she would be alone. And this is all universal law here. I'm not telling you, this is not belief. This is fact. This is fact. That woman life will be better with that man. That man life can be the same, but if he have a woman pushing him, he's gonna be even stronger. If he have two women pushing him, he's gonna be even stronger. If he has three women pushing him, he's gonna be even stronger. But if he start letting these women get in front of him, they're gonna tear him down in a matter of weeks. There is nothing that can bring you down like a woman. You got stories after stories after stories all through the scriptures that gives examples of how women can modify the lives of men. Don't tell me that this is not supreme teaching. It's there. The thing is, y'all don't have nobody to interpret this stuff and explain this stuff for you because everything is just out of order right now. We don't have any more poor righteous teachers, you know what I'm saying? We was told that the knowledge of self makes you a poor righteous teacher. We're not supposed to chase money. The, the righteous teachers are not supposed to want money and riches and all. I, I have no use for riches, people. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I've, I've had money twice in my life, man. I dress just like I dress now. I was bawling out of control. And I literally dressed just like I dress now. I didn't care about all that money back then. That money was for the family. I think a lot that I made money during the periods that I made the money because I had a huge, I hit a huge responsibility load on my back. You know, I took care of a lot of people and I really think a lot that I was able to do what I did. I'm just a poor righteous teacher, you know what I'm saying? And I'm here trying to explain things to you properly. And I'm telling you that the, the, the signs are all around you. This is why you don't find many single women that are happy. And the reason why you don't find a lot of single men that are happy is because the men are not single by choice. They might say they're single by choice, but they're not single by choice. These men want that woman to modify them. They're looking for that, but they can't find it. 
So they get so they get in this place where they start listening to all these other people telling them how to move and what to do, and it, it feminizes them. I did a chart a while ago. I'm gonna put it up right now. I did this comparison between what the manosphere and red pill teach and what feminism teach. The exact same talking points. Because the red pill is really a feminine mindset. Oh, real men don't sit around crying about nothing. We get up and we take control and we make moves. We don't compare ourselves to other men. I don't care how many women Pookie got or how many women Chad got. I'm only concerned with Kush. I ain't mad at them. I ain't happy for them. I am completely indifferent to their world because I don't care. I'm concerned with me. That's a feminine mindset to be jealous, to be comparing yourself to other men. We Men don't do that. Men get up and do their own thing, man. So when a woman comes around me, I never worry about nothing. I don't care how, what kind of relationship she had with Johnny or whatever. This Kush. If you come over here about Kush, you're going to play by these rules and you can walk right now. I am not doing 50-50. I am not doing 60-40, 70-30, 80-20, 90-10. It is Kush way or the goddamn highway. And if you don't like that, step off. I'm telling you that I am the number one. I am making, I am moving how I move and I'm not changing how I move for nobody. You can either jump on and modify my life by increasing how I move, by becoming a help me to me so I can move how I move. But what I'm not gonna do is change how I move for you. Because the second you modify your life to accommodate her, you put her in front of you and that decreases the value of your life. I'm not an ass towards women, brothers. Don't, don't let this stuff confuse you. I am not mean. I am not aggressive. I mean, I just let them know straight up how it's going to go and I, I leave it at that. This is not like I'm trying to, like I'm aggressively forcing these women to do anything. I know I can get a little hype on the video, but I don't, it's not like I'm in, I'm aggressively enforcing anything. I don't do it like that. I just tell them this is how I move. And this is why right now at my stage in life, I have no luggage. I have no bags. I have no bitterness inside of me because I've always moved on my own accord, on my own agenda. I've always forced women to join my agenda or walk on. I never modified my life around nobody. So you got to have a proper respect for the power of that woman. Otherwise, you ain't ready to deal with him, bro. You ain't ready to deal with him. And I guess, you know, this is the kind of stuff I really should be having on a divine metaphysical man, man, because this is something, this is not appropriate for this channel. I, I really need to go ahead and start talking over there on the other channel, man, because these are the kind of conversations I need over there. And I think I'm going to start doing that. Um, this would have been a good video for over there, but I did it here. So, I need y'all engagement. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha Salon.